Okay, so one of the main effects that um, I used and the most uh, time-consuming and difficult effect I used was the draw, the line drawing effect. I got inspired by this by watching a few videos with uh, this line drawing effect being used, and also by um, Keith Haring, who uses this in his uh, basic cartoon drawings. So yeah, like he uses lines to show like the movement of the characters. So basically, from these inspirations, I thought, you know what, to make my uh, music video more interesting and less just like normal plain shots to make it more interesting and lively I'm gonna try and implement this effect so I taught myself how to do it and to do this what you need to do is you need to find the right point where you want it to happen so I found a good point here where my characters talk about needing a sweater to keep warm so as he goes up with his hands there wanting to need a sweater this is where I'm going to uh, chop my footage here so this is the starting point of the uh, drawing effect and then um that's the end point there, so you need to obviously cut it there. So this is the uh, point where the footage is going to start, where the drawing effect is going to start. So basically what you want to do is you need to right-click um, your part that you've just uh, cut and selected, and you then need to right-click it and you need to go to Replace with After Effects Competition composition sorry and this will open up the after, after effects composition and this is where you begin to do your line drawing effect okay so once after effects is open up it will uh, come up with this just uh, click off of that and then click back onto your after effects composition and that should get rid of it or just okay that um, it'll come up with an option saying to save this uh, s section you've selected so yeah you obviously need to save it so um, you can go back to it at a later point if you need to so I'll just save it as um sweater lines save it there and then that should put you into your after effects composition right here so right you once you're in your after effects composition you need to double click your uh, footage down here and this should bring you into the tab you want and then for here you need to go and select over here and select the brush tool up here with all these icons and um, yeah you can just select whatever like thickness you want the brush to match uh, what you're using so if he's further away I can use a smaller brush here and draw around him but obviously he's quite close up so I'm going to use a probably a size 19 brush actually for this certain part right so basically what you need to do is you need to go through every frame and draw around him the way you want it to be animated so it's kind of like a flick book if you think about it like that so basically I want him to have a sweater so I'll draw around him like so it's very basic let's draw all the way around him like so and then you go across to the next frame where he doesn't have it and then you redraw it again you can zoom in obviously to help yourself um, do it better so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then um, I'll be back to you when it's done Okay, so I've done uh, quite a bit now, so I've done about 10 frames, and basically, yeah, this is um, how it goes. So you do more for however long you want the footage to go on, you can also stretch these out. And you can also go back and uh, edit in each individual line by just going down here, clicking this little arrow, going to an effects, and going to the paint down here, and then obviously these are all individual brush strokes you have made, so if I click on here, obviously this is the one I've been using, so I can delete that if I want to, so look, just press delete. And then that now that line has gone. So yeah, you can go back and delete each individual line if you mess up. And then what this will do if you press save and close it, it will save it straight into Premiere so you can watch it work as you uh, edit. So that's a really cool effect. Okay, so here you go. It's put it into the um, Premiere. Um, it's, gonna, it's put it into the Premiere software. So now you can like use it while you're editing and see what it looks like. So yeah, there you go. You can obviously make it longer by doing more frames. So that is how you do the drawing effects.